Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back with our sponsored series of videos from WD on their WD My Cloud line of products. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at their new file syncing feature that is in their 3.0 operating system for their WD My Cloud product line. This will work across the entire line, including the single drive unit uh, that you may have bought a year or two ago. So it's uh, going to work on every My Cloud device and it essentially works just like Dropbox. So you can synchronize folders that are on your computer back to your My Cloud and you can connect multiple computers to it. Uh, so if I update a file on my Mac here, it will save, synchronize to the My Cloud and then go over to my other computer. We're going to simulate that uh, right now. So the first thing you need to do is download their new sync software and the best way to get it is to log into your My Cloud web account that we uh, detailed in the last video and click on Get WD Sync. And once you do that, uh, you will then install this piece of software on your Mac or PC. Uh, it runs the same on both devices. So I am going to be running it on the Mac here initially, but the Windows version is configured identically. Uh, so what you'll see here will be very familiar when you switch over to Windows. It's just easier to shoot it on the Mac for uh, the purposes of this video. So uh, as you can see, we've got my single drive MyCloud connected here. I will give you a default share folder that will live in your home directory. So I've got it uh, right over here and I can uh, get at that and move files back and forth. But if I wanted to add other folders to the mix that are on my computer, I can do that also. And they make it pretty easy to do. So uh, all you need to do is find a folder on your computer that you want to sync up and just drag it over to the app. And when you do that, uh, it will then connect to your MyCloud and ask you uh, where you want to link that folder to. So what I'm doing here is mapping my local folder uh, to a folder on the MyCloud. And any file that gets put into either one of those things will get synchronized up uh, all the time as long as I'm on the internet. If I'm offline, uh, it will resynchronize after I get back online. So it's going to keep track of what you're doing while you're maybe on a plane or something and then synchronize when you are back in. Again, just, just like Dropbox here. So I'm going to select my test syncing folder here on the MyCloud. Uh, that's going to link up with the syncing test folder here. I'm going to select that and now we are synced up. And this folder right now is empty. Uh, but what I am going to do is drag in this file. So I've got a little text file here that just says uh, this is a test of syncing files. I'm going to then uh, just drag that into the syncing test folder, which is what um, our MyCloud application is going to be looking at. And after a few seconds, it will synchronize to my MyCloud and then the MyCloud will send it over uh, to a Windows computer here that I also have synced up with it. So you can see we've got that same text document in here. I can load it up in Microsoft Word. Maybe I'll add another line uh, and then save it and close. And uh, what will happen next is uh, that will uh, synchronize back via the MyCloud interface uh, back over to my Mac. I did notice that occasionally it takes a little bit of time for it to come over. So sometimes it comes over right away. Other times there's maybe a 30 or 40 second delay between the time that you update a file and it gets synchronized up. Sometimes the operating system might lock the file or do something like that. So I noticed it wasn't as fast all the time as Dropbox, but uh, you get the same functionality sometimes with just a little bit of an extra weight there. So we've got that uh, file back over here. I can then open it back up in my Mac editor here, uh, add a third line, uh, save it, and then uh, we'll just uh, quit out of the text editor and that should uh, upload back. Now it also does some things that Dropbox does related to file revisions and undeletings. Let me show you how that works real quick. I have a file here I am going to delete real quick and let that synchronize up. Uh, and while we're waiting for that to happen, we can go in and look at this text document that we've been working on. So we've got a third line on there now. And I can click on version history and just drag the file over to this window here. And what it's going to do is give me all the revisions of that file. So I can uh, go back up to five times uh, and see what that document looked like when uh, it was at that different stage of development. So you can see here, this only has two lines where our current version has three. I can opt to restore that file to the directory or just be able to look at them. It'll keep again up to five previous versions of those files. I also have the ability to drag a folder in and see what's been deleted from that folder. Uh, so if you ever had that happen in your office, you know what I'm talking about here. So I've uh, had a couple of takes today as I've been going through this video, but you can see every time I deleted that file, uh, it is showing up here in this list and I can uh, look at it like I did on the other device there and I can also restore it to that directory here too. So I can either put it uh, in a different location or I could restore it back to uh, where I found it. So it does have some safeguards that if you are sharing a folder with somebody and they delete a file, uh, you can restore that file from uh, any of the uh, locations that have access to that uh, WD My Cloud Sync uh, application. So very handy stuff there. Now one thing you want to be careful of is something called document collision. Uh, and this is where you have the same document open on two different computers at two different locations. 
applications. So I have my Mac here uh, editing, editing this file. I added a line called testing. Uh, then on the Windows side, I wrote in file collision test, and then I saved them both at different times. And uh, this will normally confuse uh, document syncing. This is where document syncing gets rather complicated, even on Dropbox too. Uh, so what they do is rather than trying to figure out which file wins, they just create another file. So if we go over back to our directory here, uh, you see that it created a timestamped version uh, on my uh, folder so that we can uh, make sure we didn't lose anything. So this is the Windows version that it decided was uh, going to come over because my Mac saved it last and that's the one that's going to sync, but it didn't want to uh, lose anything. So it created a collision document here, which gave it a timestamp uh, so you could try to figure out what's going on with it. So I would not recommend uh, this or even Dropbox for that matter for document collaboration where you have two people working on the same document at the same time. Uh, this is really something where if you want to sync files up between devices, but you really only want to have uh, one person in at a time working on those documents because uh, otherwise you will get something like this where you'll have a couple of uh, copies made, uh, but at least it does this. Uh, Dropbox does the same thing when you have a similar incident like this occur. So uh, they have thought about that too. So that is the WD Sync application for the WD My Cloud. It adds again that Dropbox-like functionality uh, so you can edit files on your computer with your favorite software, save those files and have them sync back to your My Cloud and then uh, sync up with anyone else you would like uh, to have as part of that file directory. I do like how very easy it is to add additional directories. You can pretty much sync up uh, whatever you want on your local computer as well as on your My Cloud and great for Teams and other things. Just don't edit the same document uh, at the same time. It does work very well as you saw, although sometimes it does take a little bit of extra time to sync. And by extra time, I mean, you know, the most I've seen maybe a minute or two delay between the time something is saved and when it gets updated uh, on the My Cloud. And I, I, I think that's probably attributable to the fact that your My cloud is in your home or small office and you're dealing with whatever internet connection you have versus a more robust infrastructure at a cloud service provider which will be uh, much faster to get those updates back and forth. So I have found sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, a little bit of a lag, uh, but not significant to the point where I've had any real issues with it, just that it's a little bit slower than I've uh, normally seen with Dropbox. But we'll see if they can improve that uh, over time. But I think for what most people might use this for, this is more than adequate uh, and you can get the multi terabytes that you have available on your WD My Cloud. I want to thank uh, WD for their uh, sponsorship of the channel over the last couple of uh, months, actually. We've been doing a couple of videos for them. Uh, this is the last video in the series, but we might have more in the near future. And of course, uh, as new My Cloud uh, uh, things come about, I will certainly keep covering those, uh, whether there's a sponsorship or not, because I know a lot of you have been interested in uh, the development of this product. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.